Mm. Oh. oh, I got some? Oh, I do got some. Oh, I do. Huge school. Oh, bull reds. Tons of bull reds. Oh my God, they're just everywhere. Everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this big. Look at this big old mama. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm just gonna bomb it. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water. Are you going to the left? No, 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 don't go there. No, 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 no. Nice, nice, nice. Big old fatty. Big old fatty. <laughs> Ammo. Let's back up a little bit. Looks like a decent trout. Oh yeah. Come on guy. Come on. I don't know how big it is. Let's get up. Let's get up. Oh yeah. Nice trout. Nice. Come on. Come on guy. Come on. Get your ass up. Get up, get up. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Yeah, I got the net right here, but I don't want to use it because the last time I had to use the net, treble hooks get stuck. And Damn, this guy's a fighter, man. This guy is charged up. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a solid trout, too. Solid trout. Don't. Don't move. There we go. Oh yeah. Nice trout. I right, check it out. Gorgeous trout. On the make and buy. Look at that. Look at that lure right there. Nice trout. Oh look at it. Just popped off too. Just popped off. Let's get a quick measurement. There we go. Oh shoot. Nice, look at that. 26 and three quarters. 26 and three quarters. Let's get one more look. Gorgeous trout, gorgeous trout. Not too, too fat, but that sucker sure is long. 26 and three quarters, almost 27 inches. Look at that. All right, let's let this girl go. There she goes. There she goes. Almost 27 inch trout. Look at that. On the make and bite custom lure. Beautiful lure. Beautiful lure. These things are these things are awesome. They catch fish and they look gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'll put the link in the description below where you can find these. But yeah, we'll keep on. I mean, we came to look for redfish, but I mean, I ain't going to complain of 26 inch trout. Oh, I don't know. There was something there. I don't know if that was a redfish. Oh, there's a redfish right next to me. Right next to me. Right in front of me. See if I can get my spoon in front of him. Oh, yeah. Yes. There he goes. God, that guy was just dumb. He swam right next to me. Look at the spoon. Right there in the corner of the mouth. All right. Nice, nice. Just almost 26. Just almost 26. There it goes. All right, finally, finally got one in the cooler. Was chasing that school around, hadn't seen him for some time, so decided to come over here behind me along the shoreline, do some sight casting. That sun's high enough, no clouds in the sky, decent visibilities. I made a cast at another redfish, and I turned to my right, and that guy was just swimming right next to the kayak. Just drilled in that cast from that other fish, brought it next to this one, and he just inhaled it just inhaled it so we just started doing some sight casting so we're gonna go down the shoreline <laughs> I'm out of breath I'm out of breath it's hot so we're gonna do a little bit more um, hopefully we get on some more fish so let's stick around yeah something spooked right here there were two of them 
I didn't see what they were. Didn't get to see what they were. Big red right there. It's just circling, going in circles. Come on. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a nice one. You can tell he was looking at me and you're looking at the lure. Ah, oh, that's already two. It's already two. That was a good one too. That looked like a mid slot. Well, it's one of those days. I mean, we did our damage this morning. Got onto some nice bull reds. We're actually missing a few that are just right next to the kayak. Let's see if we can come across another one. That one was a pretty decent one. There's a redfish right there. See if I can spook him. If I don't spook him. Okay. Oh, he took off. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> he looked at it and didn't want it. Did not want it. All right, guys, we're back at the house. We brought the fish home, finally brought a fish home. Um, we had the fish on the table right here. We attempted to get the fire started uh, just because we had some showers come through. We cut some firewood, some mesquite wood, trying to get that started right now. Hopefully burn off some of that rain. It didn't get too, too wet, so I think we're all right. So we're gonna go ahead and fillet the fish up. And then uh, after that, assume we can get the fire going. We'll throw that on the grill and then we'll cook that redfish on a half show. All right, so let's get a redfish out. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to end up cutting from behind the gills, behind the fins, all the way up at an angle. Right for sure, a little bit harder. All right, next thing we're going to do, make a slit from the top all the way down to the tail. So what we're going to do is just turn that knife in, maybe about a half inch in. Just make that slit all the way down. And so once you get to the tail, just follow that spine. And poke it through and then go all the way down and take the scales off and right, so that slit that we made just kind of want to open it up with your thumb and follow all the way down and all the way down and you can take your time on this try to get as much meat as you can if you have a whole bunch of fish you'll just kind of you can kind of burn it through usually when i have just a few fish i like to take my time try to get all the meat out all right so the next thing i do I don't try to cut through these rib cages. I like to go over them if possible. You can see the ribs are right here. Separated that from the other meat. Cut through the skin. There you go. There's your redfish fillet. And we're going to leave that on the half shell because we're going to end up throwing that on the grill. Put some butter, some seasoning on that. All right, next thing we're going to do, flip it over. Again, we're going to make that cut. Just give these a little rinse <clears throat> there you go these guys are all ready for the grill throw some butter on here season them up first thing we need to get the fire going it went out i'm just gonna have to keep working at it trying to heat it up put some more lighter fluid on there it looks like we got the fire started it's already crackling you can hear that wood burning it's burning pretty good already so we'll probably give that about 30 40 minutes let that burn down we'll put the grill on there clean it up and then we'll throw our fillets on there with the seasoning. So fire is just about halfway done. It's burning down pretty nice. So, so we're gonna go ahead and add the grill and making a mess over here. Burn all that crap off. All right, just add the grill. We'll put both of them on there. All right, let's just see if 
break it up. Let's move the grill around. Let's get a brush, clean that grill up. We'll let that fire burn down just a little bit because it's way too hot. We'll give it a few minutes and we'll season everything and we'll be ready to throw everything on the grill. Let's show you what we're using. We just really gonna be using three ingredients. Uh, we're just gonna have some butter, just uh, salted butter. Some Tony Chachery's Creole seasoning, and then again that blackened seasoning. We're not going to blacken it. We're throwing it on the grill, of course, but this is, has a really good flavor. What we're going to do, since it's a bigger fillet, we're going to go ahead and just kind of score it, just to let some of that seasoning and butter penetrate. We're going to get our butter. Let's put some there, and we'll do the same to our other fillet. There we go. Give it a little bit of seasoning, depending on how much you like. This stuff, a little bit goes a long way on this stuff. Then we'll put some of our blackened seasoning. And usually on the thicker parts, we can put a little bit more seasoning. And that's it. We'll just wait for the fire to get to temperature and we'll throw these suckers on. Throw this one on there. There we go. We'll just leave them on there probably for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll just check on them. Once it's ready, we'll poke it with that fork. Just see if it flakes off, see if it's done and we'll take it off. All right, let's take a peek, see what it looks like. It's probably been there for about six, seven minutes. It's getting there, it's getting there. There you can see, starting to change color, starting to flake up a little bit that those slits are starting to separate. Let's get a fork and see where we're at. It's still a little bit soft, so it does need a little bit longer. So we'll keep it in there probably about another five, six minutes and I think it'll be good. I think it'll be perfect. So what I didn't do earlier, which I probably should have done before, is put some lemon in here. Squeeze some lemon in here. I didn't even know I had lemon until Mama told me we had some. And I have some sliced, so we'll just go ahead and let these sit there just for a little bit. But yeah, everything's, I mean, looking good. It's just about done. You can see where that meat is starting to flake off already. So we'll give it about another two, minute, two more minutes. We'll let that lemon kind of just settle in. We'll take these bad boys off and then we'll give it a go. Check it out. Oh yeah, definitely. Check it out. You can see how that just peels off, how that just flakes off. The sucker's done. Mm -mm. Yeah, this thing's definitely done. Definitely done. Delicious, delicious. I mean, this thing is super, super easy. What's good about these on the half shell, you can put butter, put all your kinds of seasoning, herbs, spices, whatnot, and they just kind of sit in that skin. That skin just kind of keeps everything together and lets that uh, meat just kind of cook in that. And it just makes it super, super soft, tender, just retains all that seasoning, all that flavor. So definitely way to go. Definitely way to go. Super, super easy.